Don't you all have somewhere better to be? Okay, public service announcement. Since you're here on time, because I saw what happened yesterday, half of you weren't here at 2 o'clock, I'm going to give you a little heads up as to something that's happening tomorrow uh, that just you might have an advantage. We're going to play tomorrow. We're going to do something fun. So this is what it is. First off, you'll need to use the email that you registered for your convention ticket. Um, that, make sure you're using that same email and you're going to go to this QR code and download an app. There are actually two convention apps. Okay, there's one that's teal that's called the doTERRA experience. Some of you may already have it. If you've been playing the, one of the games that they've been doing, you, you might already have it downloaded. Well, tomorrow we're going to play in a big way. So it will be to your advantage if you have that app already on your phone, okay, and ready to go. That's all I'm going to say about that, okay? All right. So we're talking about creating a movement, creating movement. Now, this is the thing, guys. Leaders come and leaders go. Sorry to break that to you, but that does happen. But movements don't. Okay, movements don't. And so beyond just a team, we want to build a movement. And what if we could take that, that movement and shift it into momentum? How many would like to experience that? Yes, okay, momentum. So, um, but first let's talk about what is a movement? Okay, a movement, guys, is a group of people who share the same beliefs, same ideas, the same aims. It's actually medicine for the soul. It's medicine for creating change in a person's physical, emotional, and mental state. A movement is defined by its culture, and culture is defined by what we do every day. Now, what do we do? Shout out to the belief pyramid here. This will be familiar to many of you. We in doTERRA are all on a separate journey. Everyone in this room is in a different place in their journey. Some of you are just starting. Some of you have been going for a while. Some of you are restarting. What do we do? So, as a doTERRA customer or wellness advocate, I change my life one drop at a time. That's what I do. As we're going through this, guys, listen for you. Okay, as an elite, I courageously invite others to change their lives. As a premier, I present our message with integrity. As a silver, I'm committed to modeling success habits. As a gold, I nurture a team culture of duplication and vision for the future. As a platinum, I expand my community and leadership with momentum. As a diamond, I inspire and lead this movement. As a blue diamond, I raise empowered leaders with purpose and passion. And as a presidential diamond, I live to serve and transform this world. That is what we do. So all of this fuels this movement that's called doTERRA. Welcome to the movement. Now, I, as I was thinking about this topic and kind of researching and reading and looking at notes, I have a very good friend that's an expert in our profession. And I texted him and I was like, hey, what would you say creates a movement? And I'm totally anticipating this awesome response. Here was his response, fiber. <laughs> I was, and that's the only response I got. <laughs> and so, yes, that is true. <laughs> and by the way, our fiber is phenomenal. <laughs> okay, that is not the movement we're talking about. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to talk about in the next few minutes is how to start and maintain and grow a movement. How to, how to move your business into that momentum phase in a movement. So first is we have to start with why. Now, many of you are familiar with this book by Simon Sinek. It's been around for a while. If you haven't ever read this, super, super strong suggestion that you pick this up. It's on Audible as well. Um, there's some great YouTube videos on it. Really talking about why the reason you do this, your cause, your purpose, your mission, your vision, all of that is actually more important than all of the hows. Sometimes we get caught off guard in the hows, 
I got to know how to do this. But really why matters more because if you figure out the why, the hows will figure out themselves. And if you don't have a why right now, might I suggest one? Right? Might I suggest this why? Okay, the 25 Collective or the Healing Hands. Any of the, don't, all of the, the programs that are available. All right? Okay. So number one is figure out your why. <laughs> That's the most important. Next, take action now. To move from a movement into momentum, we have to take action now, and we have to focus on income-producing activities. This is where we can get caught in the weeds a little bit. We have to focus on doing things that actually grow our business. What are they? Inviting, sharing, teaching, enrolling. Huh, sounds familiar. Prepare, invite, present, enroll, support. We've heard that before, right? Those are the activities. Organizing your oils in the closet <laughs> is not an income producing activity, whilst it might be fun. <laughs> Okay, now, you don't have to get it perfect, okay? You're going to make so many mistakes. Oh, my goodness, the stories we could share if we had a late-night party hour just to share the, the stories of the things that went wrong. We all got some good ones, right? No matter what you do, you're going to walk away from your experience each time you share with either a new customer, a new wellness advocate, or a story. <laughs> okay, you're going to get one of the three, all right? Okay, next, does this look familiar to any of you? Have any of you felt this way? Yeah, right? Just running back, I gotta keep these plates going. I gotta keep them spinning. And we know, what, we know the end result of this, right? What eventually happens? Something's a disaster, that's right. Something's eventually falling, right? So how we prevent this, this getting caught in spinning plates is we've got to use the system, okay? Use the system. Systems duplicate, people don't. Okay, people don't duplicate. So our system is called Empowered Success. So for sharing our business, for teaching our classes, for educating people on the solutions that are available, it's all in Empowered Success. The business building guide, all of the other guides that are available, please don't, please don't reinvent the wheel, okay? This was a labor of love over years from many, many leaders. It's all there. Okay, use the system, the system duplicates. Next, master the art of telling your story, especially your why. People are way more encouraged and excited and motivated if they know why you're doing something. Okay, so learning that, this is a vital behavior. Okay, mastering that skill set. Mastering the vital skills of promoting and inviting. Okay, promoting and inviting. If you get really good at talking about what you believe and less at, about what you do, okay, going back to that start with why concept, then you're going to attract those who believe and feel as you do. Is that what you want? Yes, you want to attract. You heard Dr. Hill this morning say, doTERRA is not for everyone. This is true. I have lots of examples there as well. Certain family members. We won't go there. We don't have time. <laughs> okay? So uh, tell your reason. Tell your story. Tell your why. Okay? People choose to be involved because they feel like they're contributing to something bigger than themselves. I could find no better picture than that image. Right? So, oh, I just love that man. Okay, next. Be honest and authentic. Okay? We got to focus on our strengths. Don't try to be something that you're not, right? Values are more important than slogans, okay? So focus on your strengths. Be you. Speaking of being focused, be focused. Stay focused on the message. Practice communicating it clearly and lead with why rather than what you do. That's a recurring theme, okay? I hope we picked up on that already. But guys, what we focus on grows. Now, I don't know about you all. I'm, I'm from Idaho. Any Idaho people? Okay, so um, I'm really good at chasing squirrels. <laughs> and, and I can get sidetracked, so, oh man. So what you focus your energy on and your attention on is what will grow and thrive. But zeroing in and staying focused on your purpose and your passion, that's key, okay? 
clarity of purpose is a common theme, guys, in successful movements. Having that clarity. If you have not come to this space of clarity, carve out some time in the coming week and really think about it. Okay, identify what it is. Why are you doing this? Maybe remember why you're doing this. We got to be passionate. Working hard for something we don't care about is called stress. Can you relate? Working hard for something we don't care about is called stress. Working hard for something we love is called passion. So let that passion fuel you. People are drawn to your passion. I used to share early on in doTERRA that people would drive from miles, I would tell people, set yourself on fire. People will drive from miles around to see you burn. <laughs> Until I was in Asia once and they mistranslated that and the whole group thought they had to set themselves on fire. <laughs> it was funny, anyway. Okay, all right, next. We gotta let go. Okay, we gotta let go and keep learning, meaning letting go of things from the past that no longer serve us. Okay, and focusing on the future. And man, we could spend an hour here easy. Um, there's a reason that song was so popular. I'm not going to sing it. I don't have that voice. <laughs> okay. But we are going to learn from it. So we're going to let things go. We're going to recognize that what we focus on grows. We're never going to be done learning. Guys, if you ever are done, if you ever have someone in your team say, I've got it down. I've learned the oils. <laughs> I've mastered the business. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> okay. We're never through. We're never through. It's a journey. Okay, next we have to be practical and be present and be grateful. Okay, we heard about gratitude earlier today. And this is so, so critical. So, so important. We need to recognize the behavior. You want your business to take off? You want momentum? We need to recognize the behavior that we wish to see duplicate. So recognize in your team what you want to see happening over and over again. Okay, recognize new enrollments, recognize people that host a class, recognize people that give out a sample, all of the above. Then those things duplicate, okay? Stay connected to your mission. Oh man, this one is huge, okay? It's been the underlying tone, right, throughout this whole session is remembering your why. The word remember, I've shared this before, but I feel like it's important to just point out again, the word remember is mentioned 144 times in the Bible. We're commanded to remember, remember, remember. Why do you think that is? Because we're really bad at it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> we're really, so remember, remember. Because if we don't remember, that's when people start to disengage and get distracted and chase other squirrels. Right? Remember, remember. Okay. In our relationships with your team, if we could get this down, this concept, expectation versus agreement. So many relationships in marriage, business, friendships could be improved or even saved if we understood this. Expectation is always one-sided. Did you catch that? Expectation is always one-sided. It always leads to disappointment and resentment, which then can fuel frustration. For example... Expectation almost always works and looks like this. This is true, by the way. I've been here. That's exactly what you expect, and that's exactly what you get. <laughs> okay? So expectations can be really hurtful. In fact, Shakespeare said expectation is the root of all heartache. Because remember, when we expect something of someone else, almost always they don't know. So how are they going to live up to it? They don't even know you're expecting it. So we transition. We transition to agreement. Agreement wins the day. Agreement instead of expectation. Okay, what you mutually agree on between spouses, between partners, between team members, what do you mutually agree upon as your responsibilities? Okay, these will change your life. To recognize going from expectation, which leads to frustration, changing to agreement. What do we agree upon? What are we mutually going to do? Okay, it's magical. Finally, we got to model patience and persistence. Guys, be willing to start small. It's okay. Sharing as much as you can. Remember, it takes time. Dave Sterling's quote, you old timers have heard it. It takes time to what? Get water to the end of the row. 
So sometimes it takes time. You have to keep going, okay? Keep going, don't quit, even when you may want to. I could ask for a raise of hands, but we won't, because all the hands will come up, including mine. If you've ever had a day you wanted to quit. If you haven't, it's coming. <laughs> we'll all be waiting for it to come. It's coming, okay? Guys, the breakthrough always comes after the breakdown. The breakthrough always comes after the breakdown. If you focus on income producing activities, the pipe activities, you're gonna be just fine as long as you keep going. Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts, said Winston Churchill, right? Now, we're about becoming Oh, my time's up. I'm still speaking, sorry. My <laughs> we are about becoming, and I want to share with you what I feel like we're becoming, because we've had many conversations with top leaders, and, and Dr. Hill and I have spent lots of time talking about this, and, and we're at an evolutionary point. We're at a, a pivot point, if you will, in the history of doTERRA. And I feel we are becoming this amazing, amazing, beautiful, movement that literally is going to change the world. We are full of love, optimism, joy, health, and freedom. We are leaders full of love and intention who spark courage and strength in others to stand up to opposition and win. We, we are willing to push through life's struggles without fear. We are willing to ignore the world's message to only focus on our problems. We will be the solution and the solution provider for others, a beacon of hope. We are working to realize that true happiness is developed from within. We are living proof that real miracles happen when we put more energy into our dreams than our fears. We are being rewarded for the small and simple and often untold daily habits that are the driving force to our success. What we do every day matters and what we do once in a while. Okay, all those little things matter so much. We are imperfectly perfect. Woo, right? We will lift and serve and bless those around us. We will rewrite our future. This is where we're going, guys. We are ready. It starts with us. We are the answer. <laughs>